Coming to you live from the Traders Expo here in Las Vegas, joined by JC Peretz, allstarcharts.com. Thank you very much, JC, for joining me. So let's talk Fibonacci, you know. I know Fibonacci is this old school mathematician guy, put some numbers together, and now he's famous and used for charts. How do you use Fibonacci when you do your uh, charts, come up with your buys and your sells? Of course, you know, I'm a keep it simple, stupid kind of guy, right? So when it comes to Fibonacci, there are two very simple ways that we use it. Um, you know, the 1.618%, that is the golden ratio. We see it all over nature, it's in our bodies, we see it in, in weather. I mean, it's a beautiful thing. I have a lot of clients that are doctors, they see it in medicine constantly. So it's a fascinating sort of scenario. As far as the stock market goes, when you get a rally, and you get a pullback, a lot of times the market finds support at exactly a 61.8% retracement of the entire previous move. That's one way to do it. And another way, which my favorite way, is when we're making all-time highs in a particular stock or in a particular uh, market, and we're in uncharted territory. We're in areas that we've never been before. So the way that we create price targets is by essentially creating an extension. So when you have a previous decline, the market tends to extend once it goes beyond that previous high, 1.618 of that. So a great example is the S&P 500. We had the 2007 to 2009 financial crisis. If you take that exact decline, 1.618% of that takes us to the all-time highs that we were at in May and then rolled over. If you look at Apple, for example, the most recent decline in Apple from the 2012 peak to 2013, you take the 161.8% extension of that and it takes you to the highs this spring as well. So we see it constantly. We're going to continue to see it a lot of people choose to ignore it I don't know why um, the market cares so we do also so what I'm getting from this though is that Apple hit that rolled over the S&P hit it rolled over what will it take then to get it back to a new all-time high is there a Fibonacci number we're watching on the pullback before we go back up or is there a number that we need to break above how are you looking at it now well remember Fibonacci is just one tool of many so just because there's a Fibonacci retracement or a Fibonacci extension doesn't mean that we press the button and say that's it so there's a lot more that goes into it um, as far as Apple I would argue that it's very similar to the S&P 500 a ton of overhead supply we consolidated for six months once we hit that extension and the resolution was to the downside so I think time is really necessary not so much Fibonacci numbers okay. uh, for Apple or the S&P 500 to recover I think it's more of a question of time okay so when it comes to Fibonacci keep it simple is what you're trying to tell me that's me 1.61 what is it 1.618 1.618 that's the golden Write that ratio down. Write JC down. Peretz, thank you very much buddy. Yeah.